Hello everybody, welcome back to Hoogly Network. It is Dan here, and today we are going to be making a custom control panel for our web server. So if we go to our current web server, it'll say please navigate to your directory. We don't want that, we want a little bit of a cleaner experience. So let's go to our site code. So now let's delete this. I forgot to add the HTML hub there, so we probably should do that. But in here, we'll put div class header. Close that off. Div ID header. Now in our style.css, we can put body. And we'll make it, um, let's change the font family. Let's make it font family of Sans Sheriff. Save that. And we can refresh. And we see nothing happens because we see nothing right there. So let's put example. Save that. Refresh. And there we go. But nothing's happening because we did not link our style sheet. And we forgot to add any meta, so meta char set. Make sure it's UTF-8 and close that off. So let's set the link and let's make the rel and let's make it style sheet. And let's href style.csf. Save that. We can refresh and we can see it works. So now let's work on our headers. So in our style.css, we'll target the header class. And let's give it a width of 100%. And let's make it a height of maybe let's try 90. Let's try 90 pixels. And we can make a background color of, let's try just aqua for texting. We will change this later. This is just so I can get a visual. We can see there's the margin, which we have to remove. So let's remove the margin. I forgot to do that. And there we go. So there's some aqua, let's try black for now. I'll get a better color later. Give me a second and let me find a good color. Okay guys, I found a pretty nice color. So this is what we're going to stick with for now. So let's refresh the page and we can see this worse. So in our ID of header, we'll make it a width. Of let's do only 700 pixels and margin zero auto nothing happens because there's no content so let's put content whoops refresh we can see it works let's make nine height 90 pixels. There we go. And let's make sure the color white. There. Let's make the text a little bit bigger. Let's try 24 pixels. Yeah, that's good. So since I made this web server, it's going to be the Hoogly Boogly web server. And there we go. We can put some links across here. So let's do that. So div. Let's do a class. Navigation. And let's add some links. So anchor href. And let's just put a pound sound since it won't go anywhere. And let's put 
SQL and files and what else can we put that's about it for now so let's go and see how it looks we can see it just shows up at that so maybe let's not have it in the header bar so what I can do I'll just get rid of it go out of the header and let's make a new section So what I think is, let's add a little bar under this, just to make it look a little bit pleasing. So what we're going to do in the style.css, under the header, we're going to put border, bottom. Let's make it about 5 pixels solid, and for now, let's make it black. So it'll look something like that. Let's make it a little bit thicker. I'll try 10. 15 and that looks pretty nice so give me a second and I'll find a nicer color okay I'm back as you can see it's almost the same color except just a little darker so what I want to do I want to increase the font size by just a little bit let's make it 36 pickles that looks pretty nice but I don't like the width so I'm gonna increase it and bump it up to about 1000 That looks pretty nice. Or simply, we can just do about 95%. And let's see how that will look. So then, yeah, I like that spicing. And yeah, that works. So that means if we shrink it, it'll go along with the size. So now. I'll just bump this down to 90 because I think it'll look better. But now we can make our content wrap. So let's make it div class content. Or we can call it container. Close that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to target our class container. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make it a width of 90%. nothing happens but let's give it a background color just so we can see I'll make it red so the width is 90% we're gonna make the height let's just make it 2000 pixels for now and we can go over and refresh it's not centered so let's make it centered so let's make margin Zero, auto, refresh, and that looks pretty nice. Okay, so now let's set our options. So let's put a div ID, whoops, sorry, and let's make it options. So in here, we can put stuff such as the image, but let's add a heading real quick so let's make it a header one and let's make my sql first go back to see how it looks and we can see it right there but before that let's put a header one and it says control panel and let's change this to about a header two or a header three That looks a little bit better. So let's make a header two. Actually, no. I have a better idea. Let's make these header twos. And we'll change this here to header three in control server options. Now from here, we won't be able to stop it since this is based off of terminal. But what we can do is we'll be able to manage our SQL and all that stuff. Let's change this to a paragraph because I don't like this bold. That doesn't look bad. So for let's put some line breaks. 
let's see how that looks. That looks really nice. So my SQL. So we'll target the options. I'm pretty sure it's a class. And of no, it's an ID. So we'll option. So then we'll just save this. But in my SQL, we'll put a link. So that should take us to our SQL page. So maybe let's move these over. Over here. Close that and let's make it my SQL. And go here. We can refresh it. Test to make it work. And of course it didn't work. We'll see what's up with it. It's PHP my admin, which is correct. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to find out why it works later. But other than that, this is working great. So now let's go and add a description. And there we go. Let's make it so that there's a width of only, let's say, 300 pixels. See how that looks? Let's make it 200. And that looks pretty good. So let's make text align center. And a background color of FA, FA, FA. That looks pretty nice. Let's add a padding. Let's make padding 20 pixels. And that works wonders. Now let's target this. This doesn't look the greatest. So let's change it and make it black. That looks pretty nice. Now let's find some icons and then I'll be right back. So as you can see, I have my images. So now let's go to our thing and add image source and let's make it database dot PNG. Close that. And now let's go to our Chrome and refresh. We can see it works. And it looks really nice. So I like that. Now let's copy and paste this and make our browser. So now let's make it folder browser. Browse directory or browse folders. Or let's make it browse projects. So now let's see. You all projects in this. Let's make it on this server and access them or view them. That's nice. So we'll make another file later that we'll be able to access them from. So this will just leave, but it just links to this control panel. And I'll change the other one too, just so that I can find why it isn't working. And there we go. So now we need to change this. So let's make this folder, I think. And now let's see how that looks. 
That looks great. But I don't like how they're all like this. I think it could work. But it would be nice if it was the other way. You should copy this code. And paste it over. And let's make it option number two. And option number two. So now I'm going to copy and paste this code. That makes more sense. They're the same div. So we have to close this div. And let's take div ID option 2. So get rid of that closing one. Go over. Refresh. Now we can see it looks really nice. And there's that. So now we have that thing. And let's make it a little bit taller. Or I think it might look le better if we just leave it. And I think this is it for our control panel. We can add more. We will add more. Another option you guys can use is make a table. Use the table option. And just add these as a table row and table column. So for now... This is all I have, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe.